Good morning students. Today let's talk about letter. So children, a letter is a written message conveyed from one person to another through a medium. Children, it's one of the means of communication and a store of information as well. Students, letters can be formal or informal. Let's talk about formal letter. A formal letter is one written in an orderly and conventional language and follows a specific stipulated format like a letter written to the class teacher taking permission of 2 3 days leave as you are unwell or requesting her to change your seat as your partner is troublesome or a letter written to the principal of your school to take tc as your father is posted to some other place right let's talk about informal letter children an informal letter is a letter that is written in a casual manner you can write to them to cousins relatives friends or family now let's discuss the format of an informal letter the first thing to write is the sender's address that is your address We usually write the address on the left hand side of the page at the very top. The address should be accurate and complete. Next, just below the address, we write the date. Why? Because this allows the reader to have a reference as to when this letter was written. The date preferably should be in the expanded form. Below the date comes salutation that is how do you name that person to whom you are writing a letter if it is a friend or someone close to your age you can greet him or her by his or her first name like dear kuku dear montu or so on if you are writing to your mother you may greet as dear mom and so on children after greeting comes the body of the letter what is it that is the actual letter the information or the purpose of writing your letter to someone first comes the introductory paragraph it sets the tone for the whole letter you might begin by asking the recipient about their well being the opening of the letter should be casual and comforting the second paragraph speaks about the detailed description of the reason writing this letter you should adjust the language and the wordings according to whom you are writing and in the conclusive paragraph sum up the reason of writing the letter say a meaningful and affectionate goodbye to the reader and do not forget to invite the reader to write back or reply to your letter why because it shows an intention to keep the conversation going and then comes the complimentary closing with your name children there is no one way to sign off informal letter since they do not follow a strict format you sign off as you please some commonly used phrases are lots of love best wishes kind regards kindly and so on and then simply sign your name below the greeting children isn't it very interesting